The European Union, EU, says next month's general election in Nigeria might not be held in parts of the country due to reports on security across the country. The team leader of the EU's support to democratic governance in Nigeria, Rudolf Elbling, described the situation as a hostile security climate. Mr. Elbling stated that it could create a lot of legal implications for the entire process. Earlier, Chairman of the country's electoral umpire, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, said that the election will go on as planned and played down postponement. The presidential election is scheduled to hold on February 25, 2023. Let's now take the conversation further and talk about the preparation for Nigeria's general elections. I have joining me on the news, the publisher, MPO Report, Semiu Okalowo. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Let's start with the security concern raised by the EU on the possibility of the polls not holding in parts of the country. What would be your reaction to this? Oh, I, I think uh, the EU uh, has not said anything new as far as the nuclear security is concerned in Nigeria. The uh, conduct of the two, uh, 2023 uh, general election. Uh, if you recall, uh, a few, um, some weeks ago, some months ago, towards uh, the end of last year, you will recall that uh, the same um, anxieties were raised, especially in the federal capital territory, Abuja. And some other parts of the country of the possibilities of some kind of uh, explosions here and there that actually uh, created some tension. And uh, when you look at that vis-a-vis -vis the, 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 the approaching election, when you also look at the fact that uh, some INEC offices have come under uh, attack by uh, some uh, elements in different parts of the country, especially in the southeast part of the country. And we've also had a pocket of such things, maybe in the southwest. I think I remember one happened uh, in uh, Oshun, another one happened uh, in Ogun State, something that looked like kind of coordinated uh, uh, attack on the facilities of the Independent National uh, Electoral Commission. But by and large, if you look at it generally, I want to be optimistic that uh, this will not be enough to stop you to uh, the, the next general election. Yes, the security concerns have been there. They're not just, they didn't just start yesterday. Uh, and they, they, they're not expected to just stop just like that because the election is coming. Of course, those who don't want, who want to throw spanner in the works of the country, they will make all attempts to ensure that this thing does not hold hoping that, okay, by the time election do, does not hold, there will be a kind of constitutional uh, hiatus, there will be a kind of crisis, and then they will be able to have a kind of inroad into the kind of scenario they, they've always printed in their hands. And so, to that extent, maybe the, the fears are there. But even with the fears that are there, I think it, is, it calls for the, uh, for the resolve of all Nigeria to just be sure that, look, it is in our collective interest to ensure that these anxieties do not, are not, do not become strong enough to kill the dream of having a smooth transition from a, an, a, a government that is existing to a new government. Yeah, yeah but, but beyond, beyond the security concerns, there are other considerations, and that's the preparation of INEG for the polls. Some are saying they don't seem like they're very organized. They highlight the... Uh, challenges with the ongoing voter card collection. What is your I, level of I, confidence I, 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 that I, INEG I totally is... Dis I totally disagree with that. I, to my mind, I think uh, the, the commission is ready uh, to conduct the election. The INEG chairman, Professor Mahmoud Jega, was at the Chatham House uh, a few days ago and he inaugurated all the preparations they have had. And of course, you agree with me that they have had enough time to make the preparations for this election, and it will not be in the interest of the entire country for anything to happen for us to put on hold this election. Let us have an election and let us, I mean, resolve all other complications that we have as a country and move forward. In all parts of the world, I think the entire world itself is under stress. So the question of Nigeria being now turning itself into a kind of, as if we are the center, as if we are the, I mean, where the, the worst case 
in, in the entire world. I don't think we should be encouraging. So as yeah. far as I'm concerned, I believe elections should be allowed to, to go ahead. And all other elements that are punched to frustrate that election, I think should be frustrated too. Yeah, the, the, the chairman of INEC has been expressing a whole lot of confidence with the preparation that the umpire has undertaken and that the elections will definitely hold, unless, of course, we hear something different uh, from them. Yeah. Let's turn our attention to political parties for a bit. Uh, campaigns uh, for the different parties, the APC, the PDP, LP, NNPP, and others, kicked off late last yeah. year. What would be your assessment yeah. of the campaign so far? Are yeah. they... Um, campaigning on the right issues, do you think that they are reaching the electorate? Well, you see, in a way, um, it's been a mixed bag. Uh, on one side, you can say that, okay, they are talking about issues that are germane to our uh, assistance as a people. Uh, you hear many of the candidates talking about insecurity, how they're going to tackle security. They're talking about the state of the economy, the kind of differences they're going to create to create a better economy for the country. Some of them are talking about the state, I mean, the state of education, the state of infrastructure, uh, the health facilities, and all that. Well, these are supposed to actually be the right topics to be talked about by any aspiring any serious politician who actually has the interest of the people, and may, many of them have been talking about it. What you see, it is another topic entirely, whether the promises they have been making, they're actually genuine promises, or they're just making the promises to just tell people what they want to hear. But on the other side too, you also listen to the fact that, uh, you also realize the fact that many of them have also been engaging in kind of personal attacks on one another, especially, the, I mean, it's a kind of triangular thing. You see uh, the, the, the people in the APC attacking the Labour Party a candidate, the Labour Party candidate attacking the APC, and the PDP attacking the APC. And it's a kind of triangular uh, thing that you have in there. And they are bringing up issues that should not even concern Nigerians. Uh, issues that, in a way, they tend to be cloud the real major issues that affect us as a people talking about religion, talking about sickness, hey, you, you have Parkinson, you, you have uh, tense the, the whole country, what exactly is the state of your head. Well, you see, these are things that really uh, make a lot of the people uh, turn their minds away from the real issues that should be the focus of the campaign. And in such a way that, and you see, let me also, let me also point out this. You realize that perhaps for the first time, this is the time we are having perhaps the longest time after the emergence of the candidate and to the period of the election. So we've had the opportunities. Well, it may be good for members of the public to be able to engage these candidates, but I think maybe on the side of the candidates too, it has also stretched them beyond making many of them to spend more money All than right. they uh, Mr. anticipated. Mr. Palao, in, in the interest Thank of you. time, uh, quickly, before yeah. I let you go, I'd like you to speak to the citizens um, in this uh, matter. It's a journey of four years, and they will be the ones selecting political office holders. How best can voters um, hold political office holders accountable for promises made during campaign? If you can drop in 30 seconds, that would be great. Let me, just say, let me just say that there are no bad leaders, there are bad followers. If people themselves fail to choose the right leaders that should lead them, then they have the kind of leaders they have. People have been shouting, go and collect your PVC and use it rightly. Do not sell your votes. Choose the kind of the candidate that you know will be in your best interest. That is the only power you have. Anything short of that, we are just around all right, thank you very much for speaking with us on the news. Thank you.